You might have heard of the practice of non-reaction, but do you really know how important this skill is? I wouldn't even call it a skill necessarily because a skill is something that you learn and non-reaction is more of a way of being, but it can be practiced until it becomes your natural state. So not reacting is simply the act of observing and being the neutral observer. And most of us are far from the neutral observer. Most of us are reacting to everything that we encounter through our thoughts, through our judgments, through our emotions. And it's like if you've ever walked down the street and maybe you passed somebody who was wearing something that you didn't like, just for example, and you may have instantly thought, you know, what on earth are they wearing or something else along those lines. You had some sort of judgment about what they were wearing and you probably didn't even notice that you were judging or that you were thinking about this. It just happens automatically. You don't even notice that you've been sucked in and you immediately react with judgment and with maybe some other emotions. So non-reaction on the other hand is when you walk past the same person and maybe you notice what they're wearing but there's no internal dialogue about it you simply notice you observe you keep going there's no judgment there's no um reaction to it you have an op you uh, there's an observation but there's no internal dialogue around it so that doesn't mean that you don't have preferences. It doesn't mean that you simply allow everything to happen that comes into your awareness. You still decide, you still make decisions, you still choose, but you are choosing from a place of neutrality rather than from an emotionally charged state. So it's very different. So the um, one of the quotes that I wanted to mention was from Don Miguel Ruiz Jr. And he talks about the mastery of self. And he says, no one is responsible for your emotional reactions except you. Others can say and do anything they like, but what happens inside you is only the result of what you are thinking and feeling. So I really love this because essentially your emotional reactions are your responsibility. You may think that they're being caused by the outside world and that you then have a reaction to something that's happening outside you. But really, the emotions, the reactions, they're your responsibility. And through the practice of non-reaction, you're going to leave some space between what you observe and how you respond. And you leave a pause and this pause allows for a response that's from a place of neutrality rather than what you maybe are used to doing, which is immediately reacting from a place of being emotionally charged. And when you begin to practice this, you'll notice that at first, maybe you don't do it for every single thing that you observe, but for some things it's easier than others. And I, for example, I might be in the kitchen and I can hear my children playing in another room and I might hear them arguing about something. And instead of immediately going into the room to break up the argument, I can pause and observe and just for that few seconds, not have any judgments about whether the argument is right or wrong, whether it should be happening or shouldn't be happening, any judgments about them for arguing with, with each other. I just hear what's happening without any judgment, allow that pull, that space of neutrality. And then I can choose a response if I want. If it's necessary to respond, I can choose to respond from a place of neutrality. So can you see the difference between the two modes of being? Instead of reacting from a place of, say, anger or judgment, I wait and I choose to have a calm response if it's even necessary because quite often it's not necessary because if I don't respond, if I don't immediately react, often things work out for themselves without any intervention on my part. And this isn't just my kids, you know, that simple example. Um, it can be other things as well. You'll find it's really interesting that when you begin to pause and don't immediately react to something, often it just resolves itself 
And there's no need for any inter intervention on your part. And you'll notice that, in fact, the less that you react, the more things can just iron themselves out without you having to do anything, without you having to control the outcome. So it's important to note that you're not trying to deny your emotions or you're not trying to pretend that you're calm when you're actually seething inside. So that's not going to work. That's not what this is about. It's about noticing. And if you start out and when you're practicing this non-reaction and you'll notice that you still are reacting and you haven't even had a chance to pause because it's just you instinctively react. You're reacting habitually and doing what you'd normally do. And you're in a, already in an emotionally charged space. And that's okay. It's okay to have emotions. You're not trying to dampen down the emotions. You're not trying to ignore the emotions. If you're in an emotionally charged state, just acknowledge that you're there and acknowledge the emotion. And often you can even ask yourself, well, what emotion is playing out here? And then you like pause and you think, oh, that's frustration. That's frustration that's playing out. And you begin to take a little bit of your power back when you pause and just ask, well, what is this emotion that's playing out? What is this that's playing out? Oh yeah, that's um, sadness or whatever it is, that's worry. And you recognize, oh, this is just a program that plays out every so often. This program comes up when this thing happens or this program plays out when I notice this, you know, and you don't have to play out that program. You don't have to go along with that program playing out that anger or frustration and you can choose something else. And when you pause and you ask, well, what, what emotion is playing out here? You, you allow for that bit of a gap. You allow, even if it has already started where you've gotten into emotionally charged state, and then you can choose something else. You can choose forgiveness or you can choose release or you can choose peace and you have that choice. So the more you do this, the more you become more non-reactive, if you can say that you can become non-reactive, but the easier it becomes because you're overriding those old programs that have been playing out and you stop them in their tracks and you begin choosing something new. And the important thing is to do this over and over again. It's not a one-time practice. It's not something that you do once, not a one and done. Um, you keep going each day you practice and it, the non-reaction will begin to become your dominant state. It's not, it's no longer a practice. It's just your state of being. And that's where your true power lies.